Can we go ring that bell? Yeah. Okay. Krista wants to ring the bell. I want to ring likes, the bell. She likes, there. she likes touching things. <laughs> Hi, we're Crystal and Candy of Travel Pockets. We're sisters who are half American and half Japanese, and we love to travel the world in style. We grew up as military brats, so we're used to moving from place to place. That's why we love traveling so much. Two, three, one. We post videos weekly and would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us along on all of our adventures. This is um, actually a temple that is near where uh, we grew up um, and our parents still live here in this area and today we thought we'd show you a little bit more of Narita-san. We've covered this area before but not so much in depth. Why are you laughing at me? No, Cindy. <laughs> oh, so my sister is just giving me a look. Uh, I'm be... just trying to do yeah. what people usually do when they are just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awkwardly standing there. This is our sister. Yeah, so we have our special guest today. It's our little, little sister. <laughs> She lives in Japan, so yeah. we don't get to see her very often. Yeah, but she gets to hang out with us while we're in Japan this week. So she's checking out Narita with us. Nippori. <laughs> Nippori is an inside joke. But yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we thought we would come back to Narita-san, the Narita Temple, um, because we're checking the other side out. Not a lot of people come to the opposite side. Everybody goes to the front or they go down like the main street, Omotesando, and then they come to like the main temple and they really like kind of go back. But there's actually a whole lot more to yeah, it. It's a huge park. The grounds here are, it's, it's large. So you can actually get a map and we'll show you the mm -hmm. different temples around here. There's a big park back there. Um, and I haven't been in a long time and I actually don't remember what it really looks like. So I'm pretty excited to see. I don't know, it'll be nostalgic, I guess, a little bit. Um, yeah. Because no. it's been so long since I've been around this area. Well, it's been long since I've been back there. More than mm -hmm. 15 years for sure, so. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot more historical things back here. So they built newer things up front. I mean, it's still, you know, kind of old, right? Yeah. Um, but back it's here, yeah, yeah it was renovated up front. But back here, they kept everything the way it was, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, so it's from, you know, the 1700s or 1800s. So it's more of like um, historical treasures back here to check out. Um, so, so far we're enjoying it and we'll show you around. So this is the entire... So it says it's a, if you want to go on the worship route, it's a one hour course. So that's a pretty long hmm, course. Yeah. But so, Good let's walk. see. Hmm. So this is like the main, um, that's great main start. hall. That's where people usually go to and they end their journey at the temple and they kind of like go back. Um, so this usually we come down a street over here and then we go in through this little gate and kind of go up and do our, um, throw in our money and get our uh, fortune told here, get some omoris, the good luck charms, and then we kind of head back. But today we're on the opposite side and right now we're here. Um, behind the great main hall. So we're gonna kind of like check out this area in the back. And this is kind of um, a park, and that's what we wanted to check out too. So we'll go check it out now. So this is the Gakudo Hall. It was built in 1861. I like the how it's all wood. Like yeah. The, like, Can we go ring that bell? Yeah. Okay. Krista wants to ring the bell. I want to ring likes, the bell. She likes, touch, she likes touching things. <laughs> okay, so this right here is Ten Mangu Shrine, erect, erected in 1887, uh, early Heian period. It was a very, very little, little shrine. Um, usually for good luck, good fortune, the 5 yen is what it means. And 5 yen is like 5 cents. It has the little hole in the middle. A lot of people use it for like good luck charms and stuff. And that's why they throw it into the wooden box. Oh,
park area and we heard some like water. I thought it was like a fountain, but it's actually a little waterfall back here. I don't I don't actually remember this when I came here a long time ago. make our way down to this little waterfall little. here. Um, and be really careful though because it's all stones yeah. and rocks and it's very uneven so. Very slippery. Um, but it's so beautiful. It's, it's just like um. It really is a hidden gem. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people know about this. <laughs> I don't even remember this. I came here before like years ago and I, I don't remember this waterfall. I must have passed it. Yeah I have never heard about this waterfall so and there's not that many people here so it's great. signs for it either so we're just kind of guessing it's a building that they don't want to talk about no <laughs> well there is no signs there's or no signs anything about it. they must not do anything with it anymore i don't know i mean it does look very ancient yeah it's interesting but it looks like it's maintained though yeah like it's, not, it's not falling apart yeah but there's no signs so we have no idea Unfortunately, mm. we have a lot more grounds to cover, but it's actually raining now, so we kind of got to cut the tour short. Um, we might be able to come back, back um, but we're gonna take a little break and have some tea somewhere around the Narita Town area. Mm. 